and Chief Executive Officer, uh, Paul Graves, and he says, we continue to see healthy demand in our customers, which helped support strong financial results in the second quarter. As anticipated, we experienced the lagged impact of lower market prices in certain lithium products and end markets, as well as higher operating costs during the quarter. And this is something that companies face all the time. Obviously, it's a moving target. Warning, Damien Andrews' growing revenue and profit, if implemented, will put more money in your pocket. Please use with caution. Damien Andrews for growing revenue and profit. And today I'm looking at Livent Corporation. It's a lithium producer and producer of lithium products. And its second quarter revenue was reported at $235.8 million. Uh, And that was 8% higher than the second quarter of 2020. But the key things I want to touch on this report, as they say, the the adjusted EBITDA was $134 million, uh, which was, again, 42% higher than the previous quarter. However, they did say that the volumes sold were roughly flat versus the first quarter of 2023, while the average realized prices were slightly lower and the overall costs were higher. And this comes from the the president and chief executive officer, Paul Graves, and he says, we continue to see healthy demand in our customers, which helped support strong financial results in the second quarter. As anticipated, we experienced the lagged impact of lower market prices in certain lithium products and end markets, as well as higher operating costs during the quarter. And this is something that companies face all the time. Obviously, it's a moving target. Things are constantly changing, constantly adapting, uh, constantly updating, and you need to adapt to what's going on. And this needs to be an ongoing process within your organization as to how do you adapt, how do you adjust, what do you do to move things forward. And that process is called innovation. And we want to make sure that we are continually innovating and finding new ways of doing things. Otherwise, you can find yourself very much behind the competition in that regard. So you might find yourself suddenly not relevant anymore because you haven't innovated and your clients and your competition has and your clients have then moved to that competition. And this, I mean, a great example of that is understanding what industry you are in uh, and that was highlighted back oh, it was over a hundred years ago now um, with the transport industry uh, there was a lot, massive massive boom in railroads it's going back 150 years ago um, you know those four railroads that you see in the monopoly board were actually real companies and they were in the railroad business but what they didn't anticipate on didn't allow for was they're actually in the transport business and because they weren't aware of that or didn't focus on that they didn't really pay attention to a young guy by the name of Henry Ford who started building trucks and as he innovated and the trucking became more um, adaptable to the client needs because a rail can only go so far and then you've got to go from the rail station the train station to wherever it's got to go. Well, the truck didn't have those issues. And as a result of that, the trucking um, the trucking took over from trains. Trains are still used, but not to the extent that they were. And a lot of those train businesses went out of business. And this is where innovation is really important to understand how the market is changing because at that time, those rail businesses could have bought Henry Ford's Ford company. It was very small. They had the resources to do that. And then they could have moved forward and and bought planes as well. But they didn't. They didn't innovate. And that's where it's really, really important to innovate consistently and continually to stay to stay up with the market, not fall behind the market. You need to be able to stay with the market and move forward. And we have a program called Innovation Genius, which really helps you along those, uh, helps you implement the systems needed so that you can actually continue to innovate and stay ahead of the competition, not fall behind the competition. The last thing you want to do is fall behind. It's so difficult to catch up. 
But this is where you really want to have a look at that component of how do you innovate? Because costs will, as as was in that um, live corporation report, costs do increase. So how do you adjust? How do you innovate? How do you do things more efficiently? It's really, really critical to keeping and maintaining your revenue and profit, not falling behind the competition and ensuring the survival of your business. Um, so Innovation Genius is something that you can check out if that works for you, but really, really focus on your systems. Have a good look at how are you innovating, not once a month, once a year, but how are you innovating on a daily basis? Because there's so much knowledge and resources within your employees. If you know how to draw that out, you can constantly innovate and move forward. This is Damien Andrews for Growing Revenue and Profit.